Hello everybody, Greg Austin again with another edition of Be a Better Official. Today we're continuing in our newbie series on fouls switching. We are going to go straight from the National Federation of High School Officials Manual, the Mechanics Manual, and discuss exactly what the NFHS says about handling of switching on fouls. This will include switching all non-shooting fouls. This will include long switch. Refer to your local association on how you handle this. But again, we're preaching from the official's manual and going from there. The first thing we're going to clarify is what switching positions means. Here's how I explain it. Think of the court. There's the north end and there's the south end. If you are the official on the north end of the court and a foul is called and we're going to switch positions, you will end up being the p official with oriented towards the south end of the court. So relative to the court, the official's positions on the court will switch. It may be in the front court, it may be in the back court, but the relative orientation of the officials to the court will switch. All right, let's see what the official's manual has to say. E. Switching. 1. Officials should switch positions on all non-shooting fouls. Officials should switch positions on all non-shooting fouls. 2. For shooting fouls, the calling official reports the foul to the table then remains table side as trail. The calling official has the option of going to lead opposite the table to avoid a confrontational situation with the coach bench. For example, after a technical foul or disqualifying foul, the practice should be rarely used and should be discussed thoroughly in the pregame conference. 3. The non-calling official should force a switch just prior to the ball being put back into play. See diagram 2-24-1 through 2-24-6 for the entire sequence. All right, in slide one, the lead calls a foul on black three. The lead needs to take care of business at the spot of the foul, identifying the color and number of the fouler, as well as giving a preliminary signal and indicating where the resulting throw-in will be. The off official, in this case the trail, needs to freeze at least his vision and observe all players. Need to be able to observe all ten players while the lead goes to the reporting area to report the foul. The route that the official takes to go to the table is very important here. The mechanics manual explicitly states they are to go around the players. As the calling official approaches the reporting area, they need to observe both benches and penalize for any inappropriate action. At the table, our calling official needs to take care of business. They need to come to a complete stop, verbally announce the color and number of the fowler, while giving the number with a one-hand mechanics, as well as give an indication of the type of foul. Once the calling official has finished reporting, the off official can thus administer the resulting throw-in. Before we move on to examples, let's just go over the principle of boxing in. As at working two-person mechanics, it's essential in order to keep vision on players at all times to use the boxing in principle. At the point that we have a foul reporting, obviously one official is no longer able to do this and it becomes extremely critical that the off-ball official takes over the full responsibility of the crew of keeping eyes on players. As we watch the following examples, let's make sure that we notice when officials are achieving this and when they are not and identify in your own game situations where you have taken eyes off players just out of habit. Um, identify those situations and constantly work 
to eliminate them. Ability to keep eyes on players at all times is a hallmark of a great official. And obviously, eliminating situations where we don't have eyes on players is a habit. It's a habit that you need to work on, reinforce, and make sure is a positive aspect of your game. Trail calls a foul. In this instance, what are we going to do? We're going to switch. Trail is going to go to the table to report. The off-ball official is responsible for observing all the players and forcing the switch. In this instance, the off-ball official moves to the new throw-in spot. Note the movement of the officials, how we get boxing in. They move in tandem around the players. Is it perfect? No, but it's habitually a great thing to do. The trail calls a foul. In this instance, what are we going to do? We're going to switch. On this play, the trail is pretty quick to turn away from the action. The, new, the lead is looking at the ball. Our observation of players is not ideal. But once the calling official reports, our boxing in action is very good on this play. Everybody knows what's going on. The players know where the throw-in spot is. The coaches know. Officials are moving to position themselves and we're ready to play promptly. Foul is called with a sideline throw in. What time is it, boys and girls? It's time to switch. Very important on this play to watch the lead. He makes an attempt to grab the ball, but realizing he can't get it, he ignores the ball. And that's a really critical thing to do. As the off-ball official, you have to understand what your, your job is, and that is to observe players. You have to observe players. Critical to that is not chasing the ball. What's going to happen? The ball's going to find you. The ball will find you as the official. Everything will work out. If you can grab it and it makes your game move along a little quicker, that's great. But number one priority is observing players at all times. We've got a great call by the lead on this play, but then the crew does a few things wrong. Let's talk about those. We're going to look specifically at how this crew handles boxing in. Do they move around the players? Do they move through the players? At any point, do they stop observing players? So the lead on this play has a great off-ball foul. Um, by following the basics of the mechanics manual, the crew would be better off. If the lead had stepped towards the foul, it was a hard foul that ended up with a kid on the floor, we'd be better off. And then the path that he wants to take is the high road, as I call it. He wants to go around the players to the top and approach the reporting area from the far sideline. His partner on the play should mirror his movement in the opposite by moving 
towards the end line, observing players and having the boxing in principle be paramount here. So our calling official takes what I call the low road and our off-ball official, instead of fulfilling his obligation to observe players, moves with a purpose straight through the players, turns away from the players in pursuit of getting to the ball. And we get that magical moment right here where we basically have zero eyes on players. So the kid who was knocked to the floor by the foul, you know, could be in the face of our fouler. This is just a window of opportunity for things to happen and the officiating crew not to have an idea. The key takeaway here is you need to identify these situations. Identify situations where you are not observing players and work to eliminate them. Not to beat a dead horse, but we have a problem here. Again, nobody's observing players, and that's an issue. The mechanics manual is designed to prevent situations like this. Understand the intent and the design of officiating mechanics. It's to prevent situations such as this where you have unofficiated players. One last example, we're going with the long switch. Great player control foul by the trail. Trail's going to have to go and report, but you know what we're going to need to do. As the off-ball official in this situation, you need to force the switch. In this instance, you've got players spread out all over the floor. Just take an open up to the players. Help your partner out. Let him know what he's going to be doing. Facilitate for him while observing players as much as possible. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel and give us a like. Check the links below for additional videos. Share this video with other officials as well. Thank you.